Axe Defiant has broke everyone in the Call of Duty scene, okay? So at one hand, suckers are like, hey, we don't want skill-based matchmaking, right? But now, on the other hand, after playing Axe Defiant, suckers are now saying that we need skill-based matchmaking. You really cannot make this up, guys. I got a video that I, I, I want to show you guys. Like this video if you don't want skill-based matchmaking. And dislike the video if you want skill-based matchmaking. Listen, man, I don't know what's going on, but it says listen closely. Uh-oh, roll it. Yeah, listen closely, guys. Games are not what you think anymore. You are not playing them. Yeah, they're playing us. They are playing you. Yeah, facts, facts. Listen to this. <laughs> it has become something that is more what they call actually engagement-based matchmaking now. Yeah. This is the most important thing an industry professional has said in a very long time. Uh-oh. Looks like that we better watch an Area 51, an Area 51 documentary, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, man. Fasten your seatbelt. My jaw was on the floor when I watched this one clip that just came out. You know everything I've been saying about EOMM manipulating and rigging your games in Call of Duty? The system that bases matchmaking off engagement and separates different players from each other to make sure the casuals that spend tons of money on the game don't quit? Remember yeah. how many times that people who said this were labeled conspiracy theorists and told that it was a skill issue to complain about genuinely the worst matchmaking in the history of gaming? Well... To you naysayers out there, an absolute bomb just dropped that basically helps us <laughs> confirm and solidify yeah. the argument that EOMM exists if it wasn't proven enough already. Yeah. Check out the I remember all the way back back in 2019 when Sega started assuming, I mean, it wasn't even assumptions, we knew that it was skill based matchmaking, but around that time, people were like 50-50 with it, right? Like, patterns were leaking out, Sega spawned patterns as well, everybody was like going in, talking about it, like all the YouTubers were talking about it, some people were like, nah, nah, you're just a hater, bro, you're just a hater, there, there is no skill based matchmaking, get good scrub. So you were having one side saying that, nah, bro, it's skill based matchmaking, we gotta talk about it on the the other hand suckers were like brad get good get good noob get good scrap and fast forward to now everybody's kind of like on the same page it's very few people that are like hey we want skill based mastering and but apparently after playing x defined suckers are now saying they want skill based mastering because guess what they quickly found out that they were being protected by skill based metric in, in Call of Duty, and without that protection, they're not as good. So, yeah, this is apparently why, but wait for it. This clip from the most recent upload from the X Defiant team talking to the director, Mark Rubin. What exactly is skill based matchmaking, and why did you decide that it wasn't right for X Defiant? Okay, so skill based matchmaking, also known as oftenly as SBMMM, basically where the game decides that you have a certain skill level. Uh, after it yeah. kind of watches you play for a, for a few matches and then matches you up with people who are equivalent on your skill level. Now, uh, mm. in the olden days, uh, it was pretty light um, and yeah. didn't really intrude too much into the game. It has become something that is more what they call actually engagement-based matchmaking mm. now, uh, <laughs> where it sort of is like yeah. an AI that's monitoring your behavior and going, okay, this person's getting beaten too many times and we think they might quit, so we're going to make it, the game easier for them. And then you'll get a game where you win and then it'll bring you back to the playing Crazy. against the same people you were playing before. Okay, now yeah. you may be saying that's all and Mark Rubin, he's an ex Call of Duty dev, right? And you probably heard Call of Duty devs say that, yo, we had skill based matchmaking all the way back. Yeah, true. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's agree to disagree. True, perhaps we had. But like you said, it was very, very minimal. It, it, it was almost as though, like, you wouldn't even notice this, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I would rather that. I would rather that 2010, 2012, like, skill-based matchmaking, instead of, like, this 2023, 2024 version of skill-based matchmaking, it looks like that they have already updated the skill-based matchmaking engine to 2025, but they dropped it in early this year as well. I would rather the old one, absolutely, because you didn't even notice that it was there. Oh, well and good, but just because this guy talks about modern games using EOMM, 
doesn't mean it's actually in use, but I beg to differ. Who is Mark Rubin, for those of you who don't know? Well, I'll let him introduce himself. This tweet by Mark shows exactly who he is. It says, I was the executive producer at Infinity for War 10, for yeah. 10 years. I made Holy. COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Ghosts. And for those of you who are confused about what an executive producer actually does in a video game studio, they're basically tasked with a few key things. They keep track of overall progress made on the game and manage that accordingly. They keep track of finances. They yeah. connect different teams together and allow discussion. I, I believe like he pieced start from a uh, call of duty uh, before they started working on like the, the bbc bundles though like you know what i mean like yeah he he left at the good time man because nowadays they be working on teletobies bundles uh king kong monkey punches a uh, hundred dollar weapon skins and of course like the friendly uavs online as well yeah so he left at a good time man i don't think he has knowledge on that stuff but, but like i don't know guys he definitely had the knowledge on the skill based management you know to happen, they offer creative Can feedback about the game being uh, developed, and they sit through a lot of meetings. In order to become an executive producer, you have to have a ton of experience developing and producing games. You have to be extremely well-versed within the industry. And this guy was the executive producer for the most groundbreaking first-person shooter of the yeah. 2000s, COD 4, which ultimately mm. fully kicked off Call of Duty's career. Along with that, the original Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. This guy's resume is... He worked on the good ones, man. This second worked on the good Call of Duty games. So, like, this uh, this was my first Modern Warfare game. My first Call of Duty came out right after Modern Warfare 2, which was Black Ops 1, right? And after that, Modern Warfare 3 came on. And then I also went back and picked these games up and played these games. What was your first Call of Duty game? Honestly, like, we had bangers after bangers, though, you know? At that time, I believe, like, uh, yeah, Infinity War was considered to be, like, the supreme... Uh, Call of Duty dev, everybody was like, yeah, Trek is good, but you know, saying like it's uh, the Modern Warfare, right? But then they came out with World at War, and they, everybody was like, damn, sheesh, and all everybody was like, okay, like, uh, Trek, you got me bricked up, though. Aye, well, what else you got? You got the zombies? Okay, oh, hell yeah. So, uh, right after that, we got Modern Warfare 2, and then everybody was like, yeah, bro, like, uh, Trek ain't shit, bro. Like, Trek is the worst, though. Like, yeah, zombies can go pound sand. Guess what? Right after that, they came out with Black Ops 1. I don't have the Black Ops 1 soundtrack there. They came out with Black Ops 1. They hit everybody up hard with the campaign, with the multiplayer, and also zombies, which was uh, way better than World at War zombies, right? So uh, around that time, everybody was like, yo, shit, man, like Infinity War is good. Treyarch is good. We're getting bangers after bangers after bangers. It looks like that they're never going to stop putting out bangers. But guess what? Wrong. We were all wrong, guys. They stopped putting out bangers, bro is no joke. I also found it funny that he left after Ghosts, which was regarded as a bad title. Perhaps yeah. he didn't get his way and Activision didn't like his creative feedback because of their own motives and he left the studio. Either way, he knows the industry extremely well and he likely True. knows Activision's practices inside out. Maybe not the most recent updated practices that are just getting put in place, but certainly their monetization strategies and where they were headed with all of it. Along with the connections Mark obviously has to other big people in the industry, mm. there's certainly a good amount of reasons to trust what he says. He speaks Facts. from vast amounts of experience and knowledge about the Call of Duty franchise. And in this video, he brings up EOMM. And he doesn't just bring it up as a possibility. He brings it up after the interviewer asks him about the lack of SBMM and X Defiant, and then he denies yeah. that modern matchmaking is actually and you know what the craziest thing like i was saying like seconds are now asking that we need skill based matching <laughs> i guess seconds go be seconds man it's it's crazy how many people played x defined and they just got a massive beat down their cheeks got spanked and then they were like okay no bro uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go back to call of duty right now i'm gonna go back to call of duty right now and i will be with my skill based matchmaking lobbies yeah they they went straight back to the skill Skill-based match freaking lobbies and they started saying that yeah bro like skill-based match freaking please please protect me i need your protection <laughs> this is absolutely insane in what universe you thought suck is saying that we don't want skill-based match freaking and then they get a game that doesn't have skill-based match freaking and then they say yeah bro like i got spanked so hard bro it hurts i need to just uh you know what i mean like lie my lie myself down 
closer to like a skill-based matchmaking uh, antidote, or not an antidote to skill-based matchmaking, but to an anti antidote of no skill-based matchmaking. Yeah, get it, guys? It's kind of it's kind of crazy right now, bro. Actually, skill-based, and instead suggests that it's engagement-based. And not only that, he also mentions the fact that some form of AI tracks your progress and makes sure that if you are about to get yeah. off the game, it throws you an experience that is directly tailored to make sure that doesn't happen. Activision has been rumored to use AI. Well, it if they're using AI to keep me on the game longer while well, they're doing a very poor job, I'll, I'll say that. Bruh. They're at least for me, they're doing a very poor job. Like the video, they're doing a very poor job for you as well. And an AI would definitely make something like a super complex engagement-based algorithm run a lot easier. Perhaps there's some merit to what he's saying, given his history and experience. And the absolute best part is that he is saying this because it doesn't affect him or his studio at all. Yeah. Because he's all for the players. If he was working for Activision or Ubisoft and he admitted that it was EOMM, obviously it would scare people away because they don't want people to know their business practices. But it doesn't matter to him because he doesn't use it. So of course he's exposed it this is just awesome either way how does it feel to deny e lesson number 26 the truth lies like activision is saying with black ops 6 umm over and over again and call me and other outspoken creators conspiracy theorists and tell us to get better at the game and then have call of duty's former executive producer who had a major influence in the development of some of the best call of duty games cod 4 modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 and is a clear industry insider with information we don't know say that this is exactly what matchmaking has become and not yeah. only that he says it without hesitation and even says that it's moral and makes games stale and not fun to play exactly and guys apparently we're hearing that there will be a september 2001 mission in black ops 6 we got this video right here check this video out on the left though we have this video about apparently playstation said no to woke stuff at least for one game yeah it's kind of wild right now so check these two both of these videos out and i will see you right there